Nice. And welcome to the Phil Cockham channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps this channel grow and it helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So we've got the Avio Spitfire 1450 millimeter. That's almost five feet wingspan. RC airplane here, it's all finished, it's all tested, it's all set up. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of the details of the plane um, here quick and a couple of the assembly notes from my perspective. There's a couple of things not quite right in the assembly video and the manual's got a few uh, things in it, but it could just be that they're, uh, you know, they've changed a couple of things and they haven't updated those things. So not a big deal. Um, there's lots of bits on this plane uh, to put on um, quite a few hard plastic pieces to glue on and um, uh, so um, I did in, install the uh, speed controller in there so as you can see we've got a nice little cockpit in there so that does work but it's not hooked up there right now so we've got a cool little door if you want to know how to move these guys you got to push down here at the right at the bottom on both sides right so um, so yeah, we've got some nice uh, hard plastic details like these pieces here and stuff. Uh, I chose the uh, British livery. Um, it does come with a full American livery because this plane was flown by Americans. Um, and uh, uh, But I like the British one there on it, but it's nice that they give you a choice. Um, so yeah, it's got some really nice uh, details to it. Um, can't really show you the bottom like this but there's hard plastic flaps um, all the links and stuff are kind of uh, internal on it um, I really love this feature this uh, movable tail light on here like you can really see that move with the rudder and stuff um, the decals like I said they give you two two things um, I didn't use the iron thing on them guys uh, they seem to be very very sticky like this and uh, you know smooth them down but it is something that you got to take your time with a little bit um, if you're wondering why that cannon there is not on that's because I'm trying out a magnetic system here and um, it seems to work pretty good they're pretty they're pretty strong on there, but I'd like to make them a little bit stronger because I don't want to permanently glue these on because of disassembly purposes. As you, if you saw from the previous video, and if you're an owner of this plane, I would uh, definitely uh, recommend checking out your undercarriage. And if you've got problems taxiing, then I would look at that. Um, so what else? Um, they do give you some extra hardware, which is nice. Let me pull the little bag out here. Avios Extras, and one of the reasons for that is because they give you Phillips head as, as well as some hex head for some of the hardware of this plane. So even the main assembly, these little short fat ones here, for the main assembly of the wing, are actually just duplicates of the hex ones that I have installed here already. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, get a, little, a few extra screws because most companies don't do that. Um, so I didn't really have any problems with the assembly. Oh, one of the aileron links, I think on that side, I forget, doesn't matter, um, was just way too long, okay? So even unscrewing the linkage all the way onto the rod, it was still way too long. So what did I, I ended up doing was bending a little kink in the rod, similar to how the flap rods are. So the flap ones have like a little kink in them just to make the you know angle that they're supposed to be at right and i did the same thing here because there's quite a lot of room in that cavity to make the link short enough to be able to still have some adjustment on it so um yeah i would call that a boo-boo um this here it came like this out of the box um kind of a bit disappointed but you know that's something that can happen with just hanger rash and stuff too um, on the tail here, one of their assembly videos shows you having to install this piece here, but it came already installed in my plane. And on their assembly sheet, they tell you to put a 2 by 2.6 here, but it's actually that 1.7, the smaller one, the 
threes or the ones that go underneath but it's not gonna matter if you get that wrong <laughs> just don't put the smaller ones in in here um, but so uh, and then um, the wire you want to be careful that the wires not getting in the assembly and stuff there um, of how that works but oh I'm just a little can in there uh, so you know but I was able to pull the wire up through the air cheater hole up in the bottom um, so uh, setup wise again I've got this thing set up in the, the spectrum receiver you can't see anything down in there okay one of the nice things about the forward programming in the spectrum receivers is it will automatically assign channels to your gear and your flaps so flaps are be assigned to d automatically but you will have to set up the speed on them so the way to do that is you go into your servo setup and into your speed and you see auxiliary c see i've got it set to three seconds so that gives you uh, slows down your flaps from just deploying quickly that's it uh, there's barely any room um, uh, there's a lot of wiring because you've got the extra lights and they haven't integrated the, the wiring of the lights in with the other things right so they're separate cables um, so um, yeah that's about it um, you know, I guess the main thing is these struts here. And, you know, you can argue with me all day if you think that, uh, you know, they were installed correctly and I'm wrong and whatever, but the video is proof enough for me. You saw how it taxied, it was terrible. And now it taxis perfect, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. We're ready for the maiden. We're just uh, hoping on some nice weather here. Um, and, uh, oh, I guess, um, the tailwheel also so here you can check this out not even close to being straight look at it so i've replaced the tailwheel with another one because that one was just horrible um and i don't really not too keen on that whole little plastic assembly um doesn't kind of really match the rest of the plane too as far as the quality goes but um other than that it's a beautiful airplane i'm hoping for a great maiden and that's our show for you today folks Love and peace from Canada, and we are YouTube.